Hey guys, North Wars Mini Wargamer here, and uh, I'm bringing you the next video in my Great War series. This is my Krupp infantry guns. They are the 7.62 Krupp infantry guns. Um, these are some pretty little, some pretty decent little guns. The German army is. These are not the best guns that the Germans have out right now. These are the ones that come in the box. They are supposed to be used for infantry support. They aren't really artillery. They're more of a a gun, so they fire it. You can fire high explosive at, um, at infantry units. You know, pin them down, um, or you can fire at tanks. And I mean, front armor one on a Mark IV. You know, it's one uh, armor. I think it's armor one all around. Just double check that is super duper quick. Where's the page? Oh god, never find the page. It's in between, there it is. Uh, yeah, the Mark IV is armor one all the way round, so this gun can be fired at tanks and can work quite effectively because the stats on it are. Uh, it is a light, its mobility is light, so it's a light gun, so it can move, uh, you know, I think it's four inches. Um, Range is 16 centimeters on it. Uh, 16 centimeters, 16 inches, 40 centimeters. Uh, it's got rate of fire two, anti-tank five, and firepower three plus with gun shield and trench gun. Um, so basically, you've got if you're at short range, these Krupp infantry guns can work quite nicely against um, artillery, not artillery, uh, tanks. So, you know, front armor 1 versus anti-tank 5, front uh, in close range, they've got to roll a 4 to equal the 5 to better. So that is more likely in your favour. So, that's pretty decent to be fair. They are not the best, the, high, like, the hardest hitters. You've got the, what they've just released now, which it doesn't come in the box, is the 7.7cm FK96 N.A gun, which is a heavy uh, gun. With a, range, a direct fire range of 24 inches, two fi uh, rate of fire 2, anti tank 8, 3 plus firepower with gun shield. Doesn't have trench gun though. Uh, and then firing bombardments at 64 inches, anti tank 3, and firepower 6. So, your artillery seems to be quite a mainstay in this game. Artillery in World War II is good, but it's not the best. It's not your, it's not your like, go to unit. It's not the unit that is. Your army's made up, like you know, is made up, like makes or break it. It's it's a very help, uh, very useful tool, but you don't necessarily ha necessarily have to have it. Whereas in World War One, it seems that your artillery is going to be very very effective. It's going to be tank killers. They're going to be um, your infantry killers. That infantry pinner down, that like you pin down an infantry, and you can get that assault off. Um, you know, you can beat up the trench lines, all these sort of things, they are really going to be quite quite heavily important in this game. Um, so these are the first unit I have finished in my Great War box set. The reason I finished them so quick is because I had already actually started these before I did the video yesterday. This will be uploaded today, which is Saturday. So that's, that's the first one. You can see there. The uniforms on these Germans are slightly more green than on in um, well, my World War II Germans, which are very heavily grey. I use black grey for their uniforms, and I use um, it's German field grey for these ones. So it's got a slightly more green tinge to it, so they look a bit more period. Um, reflective green on the guns and the helmets. Obviously, you've got your if I can remember the name of it. Uh, flesh base number three four one for the flesh, and then. It's the black grey for the shovel heads, these bits, the under barrel bit there, and the back bit here. Uh, not very long, they didn't take me long to do. Um, they're nice little guns, these guns are easy, they come in four little bits. They come in the main, if I lift it up here, they come in the main gun here, like the bit, the bit with the gun on it comes as one. The wheels are two separate pieces, and then this front panel comes separately as well. So um, they are reasonably easy to put together, I mean, you have to when you're putting the wheels on you have to clip down the little bits that the wheels attach onto because they are slightly too big but that's you know minor issues 
Um, this bit fits on perfectly, and then obviously, like I say, that, that main bit's one. These all come in one bit, as you would expect from um, Battlefront. However, these bases are the flat bases, so you know, these ones come on the, the little thick bases that they stand on, and then there's no holes in these ones. The infantry have the holes, and they also come with plugs, which is really nice. So, if you're using a person who wants to be lying on a flat, then you've got those plugs there. Some of mine haven't, because um, unfortunately, I stupidly used all of them and really didn't sensibly put them all together, but you know, I'll learn for the, the next lot. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to upload some stills because unfortunately with the lighting I have today it's a bit gloomy and um, with this this different camera I'm using at the moment um, it's not the best for well it's not the best in this lighting for showing off these colours they are actually really vibrant so I'm going to um, take some stills with my phone and then I'll show you guys what they are like, what the colours are like. This is good to show you what the feel of it's like but that will show you what the colours are really like. Um, and I will upload this today. This should be going up Saturday the 30th. It should be going up today. Um, and yeah, so that, that's it from me really guys. Um, obviously enjoy the stills. But um, before I go, don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy it. If you want to see more Great War stuff, please hit that like button. Um, if you like Great War, if you are going to go with the Germans or the British, please let me know. Tell me in the comments. Tell me what you think of these. Tell me what you think of Great War, tell me what you think, um, tell me if you think it's important to remember the Great War, which I personally do, and um, hit that all-important subscribe button as well, please, guys. I'm at 89 now, so I am only 11 away from 100, which is my goal to hit, um, and hopefully I'll pump, pump out enough videos that you guys can um, feel that you want to stay. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy the stills, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.